I'm Katie Hansen, Curator of European Paintings at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. In 2018, we mounted the exhibition French Pastels, Treasures from the Vault at the MFA Boston. This exhibition was a dream come true for me. It is composed of masterworks by artists like Monet and Degas in the medium of pastel that, for their own protection, need to spend most of their time in the dark, in our storage. The fragility of the powdery pigment and the light sensitivity of the paper on which it rests mean that pastels can only rarely be displayed, making this exhibition an exceptional opportunity to see works by some of the greatest artists of 19th century France in this distinctive and compelling medium. Pastel is finely ground pigment shaped into a stick with a minimum of binding agent. So you can imagine these works of art as beautiful, colorful dust delicately adhering to a surface, and vibrations might dislodge or disturb that surface. As you might imagine, pounding nails into the wall is too much vibration for these works of art to withstand. During the installation of the exhibition, we would determine the placement of a pastel, hang it up to make sure it was right, and then take it down to mount the hardware for the one next to it, and so on down the wall. It was a painstaking process. At the MFA, pastels can be exhibited for three to six months every five to 10 years. So when we mounted French pastels, treasures from the vault for six months in 2018, we knew it was a special and truly rare opportunity to see these great works on view and share them with our audiences in Boston. The exhibition took place in a centrally located gallery that hundreds of thousands passed through during the run of the exhibition. The NFT exhibition resembles the list of pastels shown in Boston, but there are a few additions, pastels that we could not display in 2018. Odillon Redon's marvelous Centaur was deemed too light sensitive for exhibition at that time and remained in storage. Renoir's boating couple had recently been exhibited elsewhere, so it did not have available light exposure for our exhibition. Degas' Three Dancers and his rehearsal room are both on paper that is exceptionally light sensitive, so one replaced the other at the halfway point of the exhibition. Each only was shown for three months. Both of the landscape pastels by Monet are so delicate that they are stored and displayed flat rather than hanging on the wall in order to protect the friable medium. The delightful portrait by Edward Monet is likewise stored flat for its preservation, but was deemed safe to display upright, and the first time I saw it upright was during the installation of the exhibition. As I was reading and thinking about the MFA's pastels in preparation for the show, I encountered this passage of art criticism from the period in which the works were made. In 1889, French art critic Paul Desjardins observed Quote, pastel is the lightest, most fugitive of techniques, like the pollen of a lily or the dust from a butterfly's wing that an artist scatters and fixes on paper. Pastel should be used to convey what is most ephemeral in nature, the expression passing over a human face, the rapid interplay of sunlight and shadow, nothing more. That is the triumph of this technique. It must capture what is most elusive. End quote. This served as sort of an aha moment for me of really feeling like I was onto something with historical weight and resonance. The medium of pastel is potentially ephemeral and is best used for subjects that are also fleeting. The artwork in the exhibition was made between 1860 and 1910, a time when the medium of pastel enjoyed a resurgence in popularity among artists. This was in part because of the advent of synthetic dyes and the new bold colors that became available. And in part too, that pastel, which did not require lengthy drying times like oil paint, was appreciated by artists seeking convenience and speed in capturing the fleeting and ephemeral in the world around them. <laughs>